assalamu alaikum everyone i hope you're doing really well i thought i'd vlog today because it's actually been a really long time since i vlogged even when we went on our anniversary trip it wasn't like proper vlogging i was just kind of just taking in clips of the, the scenery around me and stuff but yeah i thought it's been a while let's vlog today i'm cooking today i'm making chicken wraps and it's been a while since i made those as well and honestly i've never made them as good as my mum makes them so today it might just be the day <laughs> hope you guys are doing well i am trying to sort out my supply teaching here and yeah my references are in now thank goodness and so hopefully maybe within this vlog maybe in the next one you'll hear me speaking about my supply teaching experience so far um i'm just really really excited to get back in the classroom and also to just get back to working like i'm so bored of being unemployed things haven't been the easiest for my husband business side of things either so it's like you know that saying like when it rains it pours that's kind of what it's been like but alhamdulillah alhamdulillah like we cannot complain we can you know we are so so blessed like we've got a roof over our head we've got love and family it's not the end of the world is what i'm trying to say but it's not been easy either anyway i've just ordered my meat um I literally called them and ordered it and it's going to be 25 minutes so I'm going to go to Lidl now and pick up my ingredients. Okay, let's put my trainers on properly. <laughs> so, I don't even think I've spoken to you guys like about life in general in a very long time. So currently I am now, alhamdulillah, driving a Volkswagen and I've got a little Golf. It's such a nice drive. It's the nicest car I've ever owned in my life and it's got like a, a screen it's got dab ah, what is wrong with me it's got bluetooth it's such a lovely car but i'm so used to driving my three-door cars and so this is like a much longer car for me than i'm used to right and then on top of that it's got parking sensors which you would think would be very helpful but they're very very sensitive parking sensors like I could be this far away from another car and I feel like I'm about to crash so that's not the best thing ever um but yeah this coat I'm wearing is from Zara I have properly rinsed this I got it in December it's now February and it's snowing here in Scotland like on and off at the moment it's not settled here in Dundee thank goodness but I have no um plan to take this coat off and then this scarf is also from Zara I love this scarf so much it, it wasn't the cheapest uh I think I got it for 15 pounds but these are like typically about 20 to 25 pounds but they're like blankets they're so nice like a jadar and you can wrap them around and it makes such a big difference to wear a scarf when the weather's this cold so i've pretty much been living in this coat and scarf and then um just like my boots or my trainers but i was thinking of doing like a video of like my top like four most used like pair of bottoms because i do like switch through them but i do love all of them and they're, they're all comfortable and they're all kind of stylish and kind of make you look like you made a bit of an effort even if you haven't really but yeah i'm just gonna go now and um i'm gonna just pick up some ingredients I'm gonna get some chicken wraps maybe some peppers and i think in terms of everything else we pretty much got it at home but i'll just check through um, a recipe in my chit chat get ready with me i forgot to say that like since january i've been doing a lot more cooking and not just like for myself and for car but like for the whole family which at first like honestly it was really nerve-wracking and sometimes it still is nerve-wracking because i am not the best cook i'm not the most experienced cook but what it has done is really pushed me out of my comfort zone and it's also made me feel like i've got the ability to be able to make these dishes and some of them have turned out really really nice some of them have been a bit like meh but yeah this week um i'm gonna make chicken wraps today and then i think i'm gonna make balao later on in the week i love little you guys like it's, it's our local supermarket there's quite a few local shops here but this is the one that's like literally two minutes up the road and I love the middle of Lidl, even though that's it is a bit of a waste of money sometimes, but it, there's some really cool finds you can get. Now 47p for a whole jar, and okay, the colour rating isn't great, but I'm getting these. <laughs> and then I've just picked up some wraps, picked up some plain wraps, and these new Mediterranean wraps, which I haven't seen before. Mayo, tomato puree, chopped tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, pick up. Um, I've just got some pepper, spinach, lettuce, and of course bits from the bakery because can't come to the without the this is why i love little look at all those things i picked up literally so much fresh ingredients i picked up all of this and it only came to 12 
53 and I know for a fact any other supermarket it would have been around 20 quid so winning now to get the meat not fast time for a cookie <laughs> When you buy boneless meat, how much do you buy and how much do you pay? So I just bought 2kg of boneless chicken breast and I paid £11 and I have no idea if that's a lot or if it's like standard or if it's quite cheap, like let me know what you guys tend to pay. It feels like quite a lot but then I'm just not really used to buying meat, like it's the first time in my life that I've been buying meat and like buying everything for a meal, like if I was cooking at home I would just ask my parents to, to do that but yeah. <laughs> chicken here and i just thought that i'm gonna start cooking in about two hours um so i just thought i'd marinate it like i should have really done this in the morning but oh well and i'm kind of using recipe i'm kind of not so i'm just gonna put in because i've got two kg of chicken it's a lot i'm gonna put in the whole cup of yogurt this is low fat yogurt and you totally do not have to marinate when you're making chicken wraps because I, well, the way I make it is like, I make it in a kind of masala anyway. But it's the first time I made chicken wraps, I did marinate it. And I used a Nando's marinade and it canned out really nicely. So this time, well, let's marinate it again. It's all yogurt. And the rest of the ingredients, I'm kind of going to eyeball. So I'm going to put in a little bit of garlic paste. One and a half. It's already half, but... Oh. Some ginger paste, some cumin powder, and some coriander powder, obviously. Two teaspoons of salt, because there's a lot of chicken, so what I'll do is I'll end up using like three quarters of this chicken tonight and then I'll let the rest of it run overnight so that we can use it for tomorrow's lunch. And this is Kashmir chili powder. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's two. That's three, four. <laughs> wow. I'll just to add more in there. This is literally like tandoori powder. It's like a tandoori paste. Two globs of this. Blob, blob, blob. I'm just gonna squeeze in half a lemon. Cause I'll need the other half later on. So really I could have done with the whole lemon here cause there's so much ingredients. I'm gonna be honest guys, I don't like feeling chicken or meat. I don't like getting my hands in there. I know proper chefs, they do. They get their fingers in there. They coat it with their fingers. They make sure each piece is lovingly covered with marinade. But that ain't me. <laughs> I will just stir with my spoon until there's hardly any pink left. And then I'm just gonna put this in the fridge the next two hours. Two hours later. 
Okay, as Paul says that right now. So, here we got the chicken out. the next day now and uh, i'm sorry about yesterday i was was vlogging the whole making process of chicken wraps and then my father-in-law came in and he was giving me some really good tips and he was helping me and i'll put clips of this in here now but basically because i had so much chicken i had 2 kg of boneless chicken he was like the best thing to do is i put it all in the tray and then like put it in the oven and mostly cook the chicken you're going to use in the oven and then when you put it into the masala and the masala is done it will be like much quicker to cook so i did that for half the chicken and then the other half of the chicken i literally just left in the oven um, and let it cook properly so now so let's say and i've come to little just to get some cheese and some nice rolls and i'm going to be making some nice like chicken panini style sandwiches from home which honestly they cost like three four pounds like when you buy them outside um and it's just so much more cost effective and you also you know because you made it with your own hands you know it's clean you know it's all good to eat so that's what i'm gonna do now i'll leave the vlog here so i hope you guys enjoyed this um it's a very like very just li little look into my life <laughs> my day-to-day -day life here um living with my in-laws um but alhamdulillah i've also had good news that i've now given my availability for supplying which is ever is what i and i have no preference in terms of the areas because i don't know these areas and also they're pretty much all going to be pretty similar like i've spoken about that before you know you're gonna get pros and cons in every single school you work in so i don't really have a preference we'll just see the good thing about supplying though is that if you have a really bad experience in a school you can just say to the people in charge that i don't want to go to the school again in charge that won't happen but yeah that's also always an option and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i will see you in my next one make sure you click subscribe and hit the top bye